Hey guys, so um, today I got a little review on my sharpening system. Just a, it's a, probably many of you have seen it. For you those who haven't, it's a, made by it's the Croc Stick sharpener. It's gonna be reading backwards there because of my camera. Um, basically, a very convenient, small, portable um, sharpening kit that you can buy for real cheap. Uh, real cheap. I think I bought this uh, for twenty dollars shipped on eBay. Um, just just fine for some simple touch-ups on your na your knives. Um, basically, it's just this wood block, and um, it's got two holes here for your two different angles, which you're going to insert your sharpening rods. Um, this one here is set at 20 degrees, and then this one over here at 25 degrees. Um, so basically, this just turns here. You can see that. It's just a little uh, Phillips head there, and it just pivots either way. You can spin all the way around, whatever. But you just plop it open, you got two holes there, and conveniently storaged are the sharpening rods. Let's stand. So let's see here. Just close that back up here. And you have your two rods. Um, other sharpening systems will come with uh, more than just two rods, um, one that are you know finer um, these ones are probably medium about medium rods they're not for fine fine uh, polishing or whatnot but uh, they're gonna these ones are really gonna take some steel off your blade to get it sharp so um, I'm gonna be demonstrating using my Delica 4 Spyderco um, just gonna touch up the blade a little bit I've been uh, eating EDC in this one a lot probably my favorite EDC right now just for um, comfort ergos and uh, just size over really um, I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen it here at the 20 degrees which seems to be the better of the two for spider coat knives I'm not exactly sure what the edge degrees are um, on average for spider coat but 20 degrees on a croc stick uh, does it just right at least good enough and until you know you can save money for a sharp maker or whatever which will include the finer stones and just more options but uh anyways so um basically the way the croc stick works is uh you have the two rods inserted and it's going to be like a v if you wanted 25 degrees vice versa you just uh stick them in you got your v either way and uh, you're just going to be holding it with one hand, but because um, I am doing about 20 degrees, I'm going to switch these back over. So uh, basically, you're just going to hold it with one hand, keep it straight, and you're going to have your blade completely like this. You know, I should try an angle so you can see. Well, first showing you this way, um, you're going to want to keep your knife completely straight. You're going to want to do this on a flat surface to make sure that this is flat. And um, what you're going to do is just from the edge of the blade here, you're going to start at the very back and as you come down you're going to be pulling out like this but you don't want to go all the way off because you're going to roll your tip if you slide all the way down and then out to the side so you just want to pull straight back and maybe end to just before the tip just to prevent um, blunting your tip there so um, basically you're just going to do strokes on both sides to keep it even and um, Typically when I touch it up, I do about um, 30 on each side, and uh, you're just going to you know, test on paper or whatnot to see um, how sharp it's getting. If you need to do more swipes, then uh, go right ahead, and if you're satisfied with what it's at, then you know, you know when to stop. Um, you don't want to use a lot of pressure when you're going back and forth. You want to just do nice, light swipes, because the harder you press on these rods, the more steel is going to be taken off your blade, and um, that can mess up the geometry. Um, or maybe put some blurs on one part of the blade if you don't, you know, keep a consistent pressure, same amount of pressure on both sides. Uh, so basically, it's what it looks like from straight view. Not the most exciting thing in the world, obviously. Uh, I'll just show you from a side view kind of what it looks like. 
nice and slow. You can see it come down from the end. You're going to slide all the way down. And once again. Alright, so, um, it's quite a few passes there. Uh, just kind of wipe off the tip a little bit. You'll see that you're going to get some grit residue. I don't know if you can see that there. You can see on the rod actually itself. You see where it shines. That's the metal coming off onto the rod. Um, you can just clean these with some, you know, some hand soap and some hot water to get all that uh, excess metal off your rods to clean them. Um, let's see. This is a really thin, this is actually a receipt, so that's thinner than your painter, paint, uh, printer paper. So, very sharp. As you can see, let's see. Still a little bit dull there, so let's see if I can do some more swipes. Mind you, this is very thin, being a receipt. So you can see, fairly sharp. You can get it a little bit sharper, but you kind of get the gist. Um, typically, after doing uh, sharpening on the croc stick, to get it even more sharp, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and polish it on the belt a little bit. Um, and by belt, I mean just literally my actual belt, just a leather belt, and uh, you'll have the side, you know, that's shiny, and on the, on the other side, that's the side you're going to be using to sharpen the blade, or I should say polish, and uh, basically what that's going to do is that, um, since you have these sharpening rods here, these are going to be, you know, obviously a harder grit, and uh, it's going to almost put some teeth on the edge of your blade, and so if you want to just um, polish off those blurs, what you're going to do is you're going to take your leather belt, and you're you know, flat surface, or, um, you know, if you can hook this onto something, and you can pull it tight, and basically how it works is you're just going to drag the edge of the blade as um, close to the relief edge as you can, and you're just going to slide it down, come back up, back down, come back up. I um, should probably go into more of that details on another video on that, but, uh, yeah, let's just get a few more swipes here. As you can see, you know, for any of your regular EDC tasks or whatnot, that is just, I mean, this is slicing through some ridiculously thin receipt material. So, you're going to know that, um, you know, your knife's sharp for anything really simple. Um, anyways, yeah, any comments or, you know, tips, input, whatever, go ahead and shoot it in a comment below, and uh, I'll see about getting another video out on just showing you some simple polishing on a leather belt. So yeah, that is my uh, somewhat touched up and Delica 4. Thanks for watching, guys.